hi guys welcome back to my channel life of a caribbean nurse and it is a new year so welcome to year 2022 so guys i decided that since at first time may i tried the false locks me i go do up my face and fix up myself nice so you guys can get a fresh me for the start me now i always do this to me i show them edge my eyebrow when me say me just shave by myself yeah me try them look good thing and I'm going to attempt to do a get ready before the camera for you guys. So see it here now. Peter talking me go with. Alright, this I look smile smell me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So now I'm putting on a bit of Carmex on my lips because me not like when it went too dry. Before I add anything else to my lips. So the Carmex go up and then now. I am going to put on a small amount of color. I don't really like a lot of bright colors. It's a very dark, almost very dark color. So I'm putting that on my lips. Blend it in a bit so it doesn't look too shabby pan there. After I do that now, I am going to go right into the whole idea of my eyebrows. So here it goes. Fixing the look of eyebrow, tracing it under the bottom and trying to put it together so I kind of look, look decent for you guys for the first video. After the eyebrows finished now, may I show them so I feel like I look good and I feel nice. I see the edge and dry, I just fix them up. May I go to the part front of the camera now so you guys can see how I do my edges with my old toothbrush. So yeah, when you can use old toothbrush, you do no edges. So edges are laid, slayed and ready. I feel good now myself. I did a good job and I'm going to show you the look now with the edge laid, slayed and everything. Bam, transition, that's me, me feel nice, me feel good, me put on my nice wine red dress and me go do one look walk phone for showing to yeah girl look nice, join the belly look a bit kite can big front at the camera. So what can I put on now? Let's get into it. What will I wear? Not sure. This is what I'll be making today on my channel. This from scratch. Show you guys how it's made, how I make it, every single thing, and give you the instruction for who is interested to make it that they can make this. It's very beautiful and they're actually sold, you know, but they're very expensive. So I'm going to tell you guys how to do it from scratch. Okay guys, so these are the equipments that we're going to be needing to make what we're making, right? So we're going to need a twine rope, we're going to need a jar, a mason jar, and we're going to need a scissors. Okay guys, so we're going to go straight into doing the DIY now. Hope you enjoy. Okay guys, let's get into it. So first thing, we're going to take a small piece of the rope now, twine rope. And we're going to do a tie we're not going to tie too tight around the edge of the jar right not too close and not too far apart so we tie it we'll give it a bit of space between where when we're putting the rest of the rope looping it between it we have space to loop between without hassle then you're going to cut that rope and then you're going to secure the tie so you're going to put one more tie on it to secure it slow chapter doing you secure the tie to make sure it's not loose where it will pull out while you're doing the rest of your DIY right fishnet style vase so there it is not too loose not too tight right you're going to now take some more of the rope and measure it seven times the length of the jar right seven times the length of the jar it's better the rope is too tall than too short where it cannot finish the actual design that you are going to be creating with on the jar rather 
so seven times sometimes some person just do it more less it depends so you always measure whatever container you're using and then you do the measurement seven times a jar so that's me doing it there counting off after which when i finish with that i'm going to cut it so i measure it right out i reach it seven times now use the scissors and i'll cut it i'm going to use this measurement now and cut about six of the same length rope of um the entire twine roll so i put that in half now put the rope that i cut in half each part of it in half ensure that the ends are equal you see and then i put the loop area under the rope that i the rope that i tied up the top so watch the loop here which is that i'm going to put it under that small segment right here then i'm going to push the end of the rope through the loop now watch push it through the loop mm -hmm. and then i'm going to pull it through and then draw it tight to secure it ensure it's tight guys so it don't move when you start making a design and i'm going to repeat this um very same procedure until the entire bottle is looped around and ensure guys that the space between each loop is the same as to ensure that the triangle and the the um the diamonds that we'll be getting are pretty much the same in size right so i'm going to repeat the same process again push the loop through the small card that i tied up at the top and then i am going to be okay yes then i'm going to be securing it through again pull it through the loop and pull on it to ensure that it's properly tied in place right very good and this basically i'm going to do it around until there is no spacing remember i said i cut like six something i can cut six of the very same card to put around it it depends on the size of the bottle and how much it can actually hold because it might not be able to hold all of it so i'm going to do the very same procedure again put the card in half bend the card in half create a loop here at the top ensure the bottom is equal yes so the ends are equal there's no part is longer than any push it through remember to like share and subscribe to my channel guys Share it with somebody we know is, would be interested in making DIYs. This is also a good way to make some money still. So yes, I'm going to loop it through now. Put the card through the loop. And then secure it by... Yes, very good. See it going through now? Look. And then I tie it. Yeah. Draw on it and make sure it's very secure. Yes, guys. So I put on the rest now and see there the bottle around all looped all looped around yes mm -hmm. i'm showing you how the bottle is looking now these jars can be found on amazon they can be found walmart i'm not sure if they sell out here maybe fontana would have them not sure to be honest i'm really not sure um but any art and craft store should have at least a twine rope so now i'm going to take the twine rope one take one of the rope and then take the next the rope that's adjacent to it put them together like so and then i am going to knot that rope i'm going to tie it i'm supposed to have some triangular shapes at the beginner stage when i'm not all of them <clears throat> so i am knotting this now hope you guys can see clearly leave a like leave a comment on these videos guys i am nothing now pull it through and not securely guys it's important to know that when are they not supposed to be at the same length none of the knots should be taller than any because we don't want the design looking awkward or spoiling up all right so if that's the first knot created please don't make the knots or the rope 
too tight or too slack because then it's going to create a bit of problem when you are finishing up your design so i'm going to do one more knot so you can see so i take one of the rope and take the rope that's adjacent to it and then i put them together and then i create a knot so at the first stage you're supposed to have some triangular shaping shapes when you do the knots so you see the triangle shape now it's like an upside down triangle and you tie take it through take it through the hoop and ensure that all the knots are on the same length as to allow the design to look very uniform so what we're creating guys as a topic says is a fishnet design for this vase that we're making right you can use this vase for anything if you want you can put candles in it you no know, you can make a flowers vase out of it various designs all right we're doing one more Oop. again take it through and create a knot and i'm going to repeat there all the knots are supposed to be on the same length as to make the design look more uniform here we go very good okay so we're going to cut off these extra strings that really has nothing to do with the design because it's just a card up by the top and the extra um, rope that was remaining a small piece of rope so yes get rid of that and then finish these knots some more so we have some more to tie it so we're going to knot it so all the first knots are done they're all triangular upside triangular in shape and we're going to do the very same thing for the next part of it so we're going to grab one of the rope one from that set and the one adjacent to it and then we are going to create a knot the next knot that we're going to create is going to become like a diamond shape okay same hoop and knotting procedure ensure that all of them are on the same length as to make sure that the design looks uniform right guys we're coming on very good remember to leave a comment yes so this is it one more i'm going to do like this one and that's a second set guys so basically repeat this procedure throughout the entire time of making this um twine rope fishnet design vase until it is completed so now i am at the bottom part of it for the bottom now you might be wondering in the region how oh, am i going to get this to close what am i going to do it's the very same procedure the same tying hoop tying until it is closed the extra card now some extra card might be left because it might have been a bit long as you realize mine has a lot of length to it you cut the extra card off for me personally i don't waste my extra card so what i have done i'm going to show you guys right now after i cut the extra card i tie them together so if you realize they are tied together yes and watch what i'm going to do with them because nothing waste nothing is going to go for waste so i'm going to put the tied rope now around the edge of the jar until the edges are no longer showing so i'm going to wrap it with it mm -hmm. so let it look more finished to give the design a more finished look all right yeah so this is it now guys finish i'm going to also show you some where i put like um a candle in it to show it would look with a candle a flowers vase as you see already you can put anything in it remember to like share subscribe and comment redo the design and tag me on my instagram